Every year, Marie McMillan looks forward to the holiday season and her family's favorite activity, baking and decorating the holiday cookies. Making Christmas cookies has always been the first family tradition as far as, you know, Christmas. That means Christmas is coming if we're making Christmas cookies. But about seven years ago, Marie started noticing a strange collection of symptoms that doctors couldn't explain. I was eating dinner, and just all of a sudden, out of the blue, I couldn't chew anymore. Over the next several years, the symptoms progressed until finally Marie was unable to swallow, walk, or even keep her eyes open. She turned to the University of Michigan Health System to find an answer. There, she was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, an autoimmune disorder that is often underdiagnosed. Myasthenia gravis is a disorder that blocks the impulses that go from the nerves to the muscle, resulting in muscle weakness. And people end up developing weakness of the muscles that, of the eye, of the face, of the throat, and even the breathing muscles, as well as the arm and leg muscles. It can be quite challenging to diagnose because the symptoms can be intermittent so that patients have periods of time where they have normal strength and they'll end up blaming it on their fatigue. Untreated, the disease will continue to progress and patients will develop progressive fixed weakness and completely untreated, it can progress to death. Myasthenia gravis can often be successfully treated with medication. However, the standard treatments didn't work well for Marie, leading Dr. Gruss to search for an alternative. Here at the University of Michigan, we're using a new class of medications called biologics, where the medication is infused directly into the vein. One of those medications is called intravenous immunoglobulin, or IVIG. In myasthenia gravis, people produce too much of a rogue antibody that damages the connection between the nerve and the muscle. With the IVIG, the immune system is rebooted like rebooting a computer system so that that rogue antibody is produced in smaller amounts so that the neuromuscular junction can heal and the signals can be sent from the nerve to the muscle properly to restore strength. Marie noticed a difference almost immediately. I was wheeled in in the wheelchair to get my first treatment. And by the next one, which was two days later, I could walk. I walked into the hospital on my own. I just mixed colors. Yeah, aren't you good? It's like I've been given my life to start over. We take so much for granted. Not anymore, I don't. <laughs> I'm just grateful that I'm still able to do everything I can do.